Welcome to another installment of African Farming Digital. Now, climate change is here and it's also on everybody's lips. So today we're going to be looking at pests and diseases when it comes to crops and how to manage them without really impacting the environment in a negative way. I'm here with Pravin Dwarika. We are here at Fassfontein at the Mang Training Agricultural Services and we're going to talk about pests and diseases. Pravin, thanks for having us. Always a pleasure having you here. Welcome, Pravin. So Pravin, let's talk about pests and diseases when it comes to crops. So, I mean, we all know that we face a problem with pests and diseases and they can definitely cause a huge loss in productivity if they're not well managed. So it's very important for farmers to be proactively managing the impact, potential impact of pests and diseases and have control measures in place so that they're able to combat that at any one point in time because ultimately you want to farm profitably and anything that's going to damper that, you want to make sure that you can stay ahead of that at any time. Now, when I hear pests and diseases, I think of birds, locusts, fall armyworm, but that's not always the case. I mean, there are those pests and diseases that you can't actually physically see with your naked eye. Is that true? Absolutely. But what you can see is the evidence of them. So you'll suddenly find a part of your crop, for example, not looking as healthy as the rest of it. And that's when you know there's a problem. And that's why it's so important every day to be doing what's called scouting. In, in the agricultural sector is where you literally walk in your fields, especially when you're doing crops like vegetables, etc., that are easily susceptible, but also have harsh damage done to them if you don't control it properly. So you've got to get into the discipline of regularly inspecting your crops uh, by doing scouting. And as soon as you pick up, there's a problem, you need to get right down to what's causing that problem, whether it's a, it's a disease that's in, infesting the plant or whether it's pest management that needs to be done. Whichever it is, you need to get on top of it as soon as possible to make sure that the damage is, doesn't get beyond repair. Herbicides and pesticides, there are good ones, there are bad ones. So as a farmer, how do I know that the herbicide I'm going to use will not affect my production, but at the same time will not harm the environment? That's very important to consider. So, you know, as, as we see, you know, the, the environmental, environmental impact of anything that we do in agriculture, we've got to be conscious of it. So understanding what the active ingredient is in chemicals that we're using is very important to understand that you're not doing any unintended damage to the environment. So, you know, if, for example, you've got a water source in your farm or through your farm, as an example, make sure that you're not spraying too close to it where you could have toxic chemicals going into that, that communities rely on downstream as drinking water. So it's very important for us to be aware of that. But also, you know, what's good for managing a certain pest or disease may have other consequences on that very crop. For example, if your concentration levels are not, you know, not well managed, etc. So you've got to understand, read the label, speak to the input suppliers, speak to your extension services or your agronomists for that matter. Understand what the potential negative consequences are whilst looking for the positive impact of that uh, pest or disease control chemical that you want to use on your farm. So basically as a farmer, I have to do my research so that I don't even harm um, pollinators because also though they actually help us to grow. Isn't that, isn't that true? You're 100% correct. And I mean, we, we know the narrative around the bee population and how important it is and how the population has been in decline over the last few decades. So it's very important for us to make sure that we don't contribute to that loss in the bee population, just as one of the examples of pollinators. But you're 100% right. So we've got to make sure that whatever it is that we spraying on our crops, that we don't cause too much harm to those insects and those uh, the bee population that we rely on so heavily for um, pollinating our crops. So it's very important to understand that there could be consequences that you didn't think of. And that's why having conversations with the experts in that particular industry is so important to understand that we're not causing this harm in the environment. And Ravin, you guys as Le Mans, do you offer any courses that teach people this? Um, it's not a course on its own, but certainly when, when you look at courses like crop production, mixed farming systems, etc., we will certainly cover the use of chemicals and the safe use of chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, whatever the case may be. So uh, it's important for our students when they're here to understand the positive and negative impacts of that. So certainly that's a part of the curriculum that we offer. Ravin, thank you so much. You're always welcome. Thanks, Ravi. Great having you here. It's important for all of us to farm responsibly so that future generations have an earth to live on. Thank you so much for watching African Farming. Remember, we farm better together. Get your free copy of the African Farming magazine now at your nearest co-op and at africanfarming.com.
Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.